with that. Yes! It's perfect and it's 1 0 Morocco with 80 minutes to play into this game. We see all his teammates coming towards him, celebrating that goal. They found a way to unlock the, the scoreboard. Yes, he went to the Moroccan side, cheering in the stands. And yes, Ayn Boudlal, the number five, the captain. He showed how to keep his composure on the crucial penalty kick. But at this point, they can still hope to equalize, even if Amani crossed the ball. Oh my god, what an error! And the second goal for Morocco now! The second goal for Morocco with Adam Anin. I think that's one of his first touches of the game. Get it to the pitch like five minutes ago. And yes, Said Shiba can have a sort of relief as Morocco doubles the score. But what an error for from the South African side. Adam Anin can celebrate. But what a mistake from South Africa. Defender and the goalkeeper crash together. Yes, a lack of communication between Kai Jensen and Tyler Cicero. And at the end of this slight opportunity, Adam Anin was there inside the box. To pose a very stern test indeed. So the defense, no trickery this time, it seems. As Morocco, they looking to get forward in an advantageous position. An own goal. What a start for the Atlas Lions. Abdel Mali's ball, it was fortuitous at best, but it took a glance off the Nigerian head. We'll see if it was going on target or not. But it's the first goal Nigeria have conceded in this championship and it came from that right-hand side. It's the second attack that Morocco have penetrated from the Nigerians down the right flank. Abdel Mali latching on to a pass and just getting past his defender there. Hope Linus it was who let his man get across. Oh, and it was just a very cruel deflection off the defender. Well, this almost certainly will go down as an own goal. But it was brilliant work from Abdel Maki. Abdel Mali. Spot between the sticks. The quarterfinals, you'd imagine. If there is any kind of injury we're unaware of. Down the other end, currently for Morocco, and there's the opener, and it is Zakaria Wazan. Brilliant volley, finds its way past Shadrick Kaliati. And Morocco take the lead. Lost it. Oh, delivered in by Radouan and acrobatically diverted home. Oh, and a poor defending, and it nips in there. Still in it. Crosses it in, and that's 1 0 for Morocco. Wazame with the opener. Well, there was a mistake, I think, from Yunus Badani losing the ball in a dangerous area. Naiman Ene pounced and put that on a plate for the striker to hit his second goal of the competition. Tried to shepherd the ball out of play. Too easy for Ene. The defence disorganised. Wazane, his movement good enough to find the space between defenders. Lovely ball in from Anair as well. Just 
So a second goal of the competition then for Zach. So oh. as uh, Shetiawi is down again. Oh, and that's a lovely ball through for Wazane. It's 2 0. Morocco have doubled their lead. Wazani again. There will be a VAR check. It didn't look offside in real time. It was a delightful ball curled in behind the defence. We'll get the replay, we'll get the VAR check. But that's really silenced the crowd here. Nahowney getting to the ball before Shetiawi. Nice ball in for Abdel Bali, and that's a beautiful pass in final third. Ball well brought down by El Idrisi. Space to get the ball in here, and it's fallen on the edge of the area, and that surely is that. Adam Shakir pounced on the cutback on the edge of the area, drove it into the corner. And Mastias Hamash had no chance. First goal of the tournament for Shakir. And that really is game over now. Nice build up over on that far side. The drop of the shoulder, a good cut back. And under no pressure at all, Adam Shakir kept his composure, kept his knee over. Sneak it there, it's the effort. Oh, and he's hit the woodwork again. For the second time, Marley strike the woodwork. And I believe how many to take this one. And now Morocco have hit the bar. Flicked on. Mali goes to Kone, the left back. But it's saved. Ben Razil makes his third save of the penalty shootout. And now it will be Morocco's opportunity to win it. Kone heads back, shoulders slumped. Wasn't a bad penalty, but it was a great save from Ben Razil. Went the right way early. Kone didn't change his mind. Marley must have thought they were almost there. But now it's Morocco one kick away from the final. And it will be Fuad Zawani. He won't be in the final. He's suspended. But he sent his team there and his country. Zawani, the hero. Morocco will be in the final of the under 17 Africa Cup of Nations. Mali from the brink. are beaten. It's too much whether you've won or lost.